such as a DJ is poking their nose and we just put that into camera. That's not gonna happen if you follow this. Hello VJs, if you have landed in this video, that means you have enough curiosity on this topic which is working on cameras on Resolume like a pro. This pro training session is a consolidated, condensed, compressed 2.5 hour video training specifically made onto cameras on Resolume, nothing else. There's nothing more valid and legit than a live camera feed. No hypocrisy, no bullshit. And although we have an awesome VJ bank full of chasers and a lot of FXs, a lot of cool MIDI controllers, at the end of the day, all these people come here paying to see those artists. So somehow we have to show them the artist. Seeing a DJ or the band or a singer or an artist on those huge LED screens on a concert makes a big impact. And then adding FX, all cool chasers and bing bangs, yes, we all want to do that. So let's admit we all have camera fetish regardless of our skill. Even if we are a small VJ or we are a big VJ on a huge concert, we all want to incorporate camera somehow in our playlist. But where do we start? Before just diving into Resolume, we have to take a look at few things like what are the type of cameras available there out for the VJs, what are the cameras to buy, how are these cameras connected to our Resolume system, what if we have multiple camera, what if all the cameras are all across the venue and we have to manage it somehow. So we will get it all sorted. And after getting everything to Resolume, we are going to take a pro dive into Resolume with cameras. We will dig into what are the must-have FXs for the cameras, how to manage a lot of camera feeds, how we can monitor all the camera feeds inside Resolume, and we're going to make a pre-visualization for cameras so that we get to monitor our camera before we send them into outputs and avoid scenes such as a DJ is poking their nose and we just put that into camera. That's not gonna happen if you follow this. Not only that, we're going to take a look at a lot of slice transform FXs and a lot of tips are there and how can we end this without some chaser? I mean, we have to do some chaser, right? So in this advanced training module, we are going to take a deep dive in all those topics. So uh, the context for today's webinar is in block. Uh, I have tried to lay everything into two whole blocks. One is the theory kind of thing where I tried to put together a bunch of research I did and there is in the action section. What is the action section? Coming to that. In the theory, we will first take a look at the type of camera connections and the type of camera. Then we're going to look at the type of capture cards because there are a lot of variations and we know what might fit for us, but uh, we might be find a better option on that. So what are the difference between cards? We will take a quick look and uh, we will connect using a capture card. How do we connect? Many of us already know, we will just recap. How do we connect multi-camera and what's the difference between single camera and multi-camera in capture card? Not working with multi-camera. I mean, you can work with five camera and you can capture five separate stream or you can mix them and capture one stream. So we're going to take a look at those. Then how do we set up the camera accurately? We will talk about the beautiful magic called NDI because NDI got everything better. I'm sure that you we all here use NDI at some point. So in camera also, we could use NDI and there are also some limits and some benefits with NDI. We will take a deep, deep, deep dive at NDI. We will talk about how to connect with the NDI camera. We will talk about multi-camera with NDI and then how do we set it up properly. Then we will analyze when would we use NDI and why would we use capture card because this two has different price points and different kind of reliability and they are best at what they do. So when do we pick them? Then we will dive into action. The action means Resolume Arena. Then we're going to talk about some effects that I personally think very important to consider while you are working with the camera. Some effects are like you must consider if you're working in a uncontrolled venue. Let's say you're working in an outdoor venue where people are dancing crazy and fogs and haze and it's moist and it's it's changing. So you have to take a take some effects and keep it on a MIDI controller, I would suggest. 
the way i deal it is uh, i put some controls in video controller and adjust uh, seeing the environment and people's so we're going to take a look at that and we're going to work with video router video router is a one magical thing you could do to your camera routing because when you have one camera and you're playing one camera two visual you are just happy you don't have to do anything what if you are using five camera inputs or maybe four camera input one presentation input and you will have to manage them somehow keep them managed so how do we manage video router is a solution to those so we will of course focus on camera but you could use this video router idea inside resolume when you make your program and apply it into 50 more other things i truly believe what if we have five camera connected and we are not putting all the camera on the screen throughout the time we must do some monitoring before putting some camera so if you are using a video proper video uh, processing production panel you are going to get a monitor feed before you send how do we simulate that inside resolume so that we can see the camera feed if it's the right camera before putting it in so that is the very important essential part called previous we are going to go around today and then we are going to work with slice transform we're going to start and do basic slice transform but you can go crazy with slice transform and then we're going to try to optimize our performance however we can if you want to buy this course then shh, here's something i'm putting a promo code here you can use this promo code and get 10 percent discount don't tell it to anyone shh. since the training was produced on the shape of a webinar including live participants you will have active participation by professional vjs and video engineers asking question answer and sharing tips all for you pros and bros